Very warm welcome to BBC News. And let's take you straight away to that breaking story now. Coming from West London, the London Fire Brigade are dealing with a huge fire in a residential tower block in West London. They were called to this just about two in the morning local time, about two hours ago now. This is Grenfell Tower, 23, maybe 24 storey block of flats in West Kensington. 200 firefighters at this scene, 40 fire engines. Uh, most people and most, in fact, of, of the people trying to help people still there have been moved back because there are great concerns that this structure is going to collapse. Local people are saying residents of the tower are still trapped. Details at the moment not yet clear. Our correspondent Andy Moore is there. Andy, what is the latest? Well, as you can see, the building is well alight. Uh, we've had an update from the fire service. Uh, they say it's alight from the second floor up to the 27th floor. Uh, you may be able to see just at the bottom left hand corner, uh, there's a hydraulic platform uh, with a hose that is focused on that one corner of the building that is not alight. And then in the last half hour or so, we have seen a person at a, at a window there. We saw them once or twice. Uh, we don't know whether it's a resident or a firefighter, uh, but uh, it's in that area where that hose is being trained. So we can say that at least some people are, are still in the building. Uh, we don't know if they're trapped. We don't know how many people have been rescued from the building. Uh, we do know from the, uh, uh, the London Fire Service that they say in the early stages, two people were treated for the effects of uh, breathing in smoke, uh, but we've had no update since then. We've seen debris falling from the building. We've heard the sound of explosions. We've heard the sound of glass breaking. Uh, the police have keep on pushing back their cordons, moving members of the public uh, for fear that the building might collapse. But as you can see, those firefighters, especially on those hydraulic platforms, are still in close proximity to the building. And I don't think they would be that close unless they were actively trying to rescue people to save lives.